So here is the start of unit four. We're doing conic sections. All right, we're going to start conic sections with parabolas. As a quick introduction to conic sections and what they are, this is what they look like. Conic sections are two cones that are uh, stacked on top of each other, point to point. And if we cut slices out of the conic sections, we get different um, shapes. If you cut straight across, you get a circle. If you kind of cut it at an angle, there it goes through the top or the bottom of the conic section, and then out the side, it's a parabola. If you cut straight, if you cut not straight across, but kind of at an angle that goes out each side of one of the conic sections or one of the cones, it's an ellipse. Now, hyperbola is like a, a double parabola. It goes through the top and the bottom of the cone and goes through the sides. Okay, we're going to see all of four of these, not today, but we're going to start with parabolas. So here's the definition of parabola. It's a set of all points on a curve. So the curve is the black line, and the black line is made of a bunch of different points. All right, that the distance to a fixed point off the curve, which is called the focus, this is the focus point, it's in green. Notice it's color coordinated. And the distance to the fixed line off the curve, which is the directrix, this is a dot dashed line off of the uh, curve of the parabola. And those two things are equidistant to each other, which means if you drew a line from the focus point to any place on the curve, and then that point to the directrix, those two dashed blue lines would be the same. They are equal to each other. Okay, and this goes for every point on the curve. Okay, this is going to be important in just a second. All right. <clears throat> now, since the focus, that green point, and the directrix, the red line, are equidistant from every point on the curve, so basically the same distance no matter where you go on the, on the parabola from each other. Okay. The vertex of your parabola is going to be directly between the two of them. So if you went straight down from the focus point that we have on the graph here, <clears throat> you're going to hit the vertex. And the distance between the focus point and the vertex and the vertex and the directrix are both the same. All right. So that's going to be an important piece of constructing and figuring out pieces of information about our parabolas. <clears throat> okay. So. There is a specific uh, name for the lines, or sorry, the distances um, from the focus point and the vertex, and then the, also the focus point straight across uh, to the parabola. Okay, so the focus distance is the distance between the focus point and the vertex, which is that kind of it's kind of a blue line, and then there's another. Uh, term. It's called the lattice rectum. You can get rid of your giggling now. That's the distance between the focus point and straight across to a point on the graph. Okay, so your focal distance, which is again from the focus point to the vertex of the parabola, is labeled as P. So P is considered your focal distance. That's going to be an important piece for your um, building your parabolas. Okay, the other distance from the focus point to the edge of the graph that's going sideways that is 2p, okay? So it's double the focal distance. So it's 2p on both sides because it's the same thing, okay? <clears throat> Next, we get to some equations. Now, this thing is very overwhelming, and I, I grant you that, but trust me, it's really not as bad as you think, okay? Some of the stuff is some of the things that we're going to see a lot for all of these kind of sections that we're going to be dealing with, so let's break it down to what it is. Okay, your h and k values, you can see them in all the different um, uh, formulas for the equations, are the vertex of your parabola. So it's that, <clears throat> that black dot between the focus point and the directrix. Okay, now x and y are alphabetical, and so is h and k. So h is always next to x, and k is always next to y. That is always true. Okay, something else about them. You can see all of your h and k's in the formulas. They all have a negative sign in front of them. When it comes out of those uh, parentheses and you're trying to find the vertex, they change signs, okay? So although it says negative h in the equations, you can see on the top it says h comma k is the vertex, h is positive, k is positive. So what's happening is that the signs are changing, okay? And we'll see that as we go through and graph some of these, all right? <clears throat> the x and y are just parts of a point on a graph, which are going to be just pieces in your equation. The last piece that you don't nor normally see is the p-value. <clears throat> Excuse me. The p-value is your focal distance. Okay, and it's going to be important things to help us graph these parabolas. 
Okay. Now there are four different ways you can graph parabolas. It can go up, it can go down, it can go right, it can go left. Okay. So it's important to understand how this is happening. Okay. So let's look at the top two equations there. You can see that if it's going up or down, the x ping, the part that's being squared, the x term, is the x term. Okay, so whatever is, if x is being squared, it's either going to go up or down. And the reason it goes up or down, if you notice the 4 in the equation is positive, it goes up. If the 4 is negative, it goes down. Okay, so basically if your focal distance is positive, the graph goes up. If the focal distance is negative, the graph goes down. Okay, <clears throat> now if you look at the bottom, if the y value is being squared, it's going to go left or right. So it's going to go positive to the right if your focal distance is positive. It's going to go negative to the left if your focal distance is negative. Now, again, this seems like overwhelming, but once you actually apply it to the problems you're doing, it can be a lot easier. Okay, so let's show you how we graph these. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give you these boxes to help you out, figure out which way this graph opens. Okay, so we talk about it either opens left and right across the x-axis or it opens up and down on the y-axis, like along the y-axis. Okay, so in this case, because the x term is first and it's being squared, it's going to go uh, up and down. And because the 8 in front of the y minus 3, that's negative, negative 8, it's going to be going down. Okay, <clears throat> so we know it's going to go down. Next, your vertex is h comma k. So we have positive 2 and negative 3 in the parentheses. And I said in the last slide that once h and k comes out of the parentheses, it's going to change signs. So in this case, the vertex is going to be negative 2 and positive 3. So let's put that point on our grid. Okay. Now the focal distance is the distance between the vertex and the focus point. Now the focus point is always what I say is inside the parabola, inside the curve, not on the outside. So if our graph is going down, the focal point is going to be going down as well. Okay. Now we're going to figure out what the focal distance is. So if you remember back to the last slide where we had all those like four P's, so you're going to take your focal distance number. In this case, it's negative eight. We're going to divide it by negative four. Okay. And the reason why we're going to do it by negative four is because your focal distance is always a positive number. Okay. So if that was a positive eight, we'd be divided by positive four and still be a positive number. In this case, it's negative. We're going to divide it by negative 4. We will get 2 as our focal distance. So what we can do next is from our folk, from our vertex, we're going to go down 2 and draw on our focal point. Okay. And your focus is going to be at negative 2, 1 right there. Okay. <clears throat> next, your directrix is going to be directly above your vertex, and it's going to be 2 away from your vertex. So our line is going to be a horizontal line, which is, if you remember from the um, <clears throat> uh, graphing rational functions of the last uh, unit, where you had horizontal asymptotes, same kind of idea, it's just not an asymptote, it's a directrix, okay? And that's going to be <clears throat> y equals 5. And we're going to draw a dashed line on top of it. All right, now we're almost done. The last thing we need to do is find those other two points um, that are going to be directly across from the focus point so that we can draw our parabola. Okay, so remember uh, in the earlier part of the early notes where it said p is the focal distance, but the lat lattice rectum is the technical term for it, is two, time, 2 times p. So we're going to take our focal distance and multiply it by 2, which is, gives us 4. And on either side, left and right of your focal point, you're going to draw a point 4 from the focal point. And now we have those three points, we can draw our graph. All right, let's try that again. All right. So now we're looking at the equation because y is being squared, it's going to go along the x axis, it's going to go left and right. All right. <clears throat> And then because the 16 number is positive, it's going to go positive to the right. All right, your vertex, we have h comma k. Well, the h is always by the x, but there's no number being added or subtracted to the x, which means if there's no number, the number for nothing is 0. 
Okay, so that's going to be our h number. And the k, which is always by y, is negative 2 in the equation, which means it comes out and we change the sign. It is going to be positive 2. So our vertex will be 0, comma 2. So you can plug that point, or sorry, plot that point on the grid. Next, our focal distance. Well, the, <clears throat> the number where our focal distance should be is 16. We're going to divide that by a positive 4. Okay, and then we're going to get 4. Now, because our graph is going to the right, all right, our focal point is going to be going to the right, all right, and it's going to be four from our vertex, which will be um, four comma two. You can plot that point right there. Next, your directrix is going to be left. It's going to be behind the vertex, and it's going to be four, the same distance as it was from the focus. Okay, so it's going to be this time it's a vertical line. So it's going to be x equals negative 4. You can plot that point. All right. <clears throat> now we need to put the two other points that we can use to graph our parabola. They have to be twice as long as the focal distance. So they're going to be 2 times 4 is 8. So 8 up and 8 down from our focal point. And then graph the equation. All right. Let's try another one. So we have y squared is in front. P as y is being squared, it's going to go left and right. And because the 4 is a negative, it's going to be going to the left. So it's opening against the, uh, it's opening along the x-axis, it's going left. Okay, our vertex, h comma k. The h position is positive 3, so it's going to come out and become negative. And on the k, there's nothing next to the y, so it's again 0, like the, like the last equation had. So negative 3 comma 0. So we'll plot that point. Uh, in the focal distance area, we have negative 4. We're going to divide that by negative 4, which gives us a focal distance of 1. Since our graph is going to the left, our focal point is going to be 1 away from the vertex at negative 4 comma 0. So we'll plot that point. <clears throat> and now our directrix is going to be a vertical line again, one behind the vertex and to the right which is going to be x equals 2. We can plot that or draw that line. All right. <clears throat> we need to find the two other points. We're going to multiply our focal distance of 1 by 2 and draw points 2 up and 2 down from the focal point. And graph our equation. Okay. Let's try one more. Try this on your own. Um, pause the video, try it, see what you get, and then come back and see how you did. All right, hopefully you did that, and here we go. So, because y squared is, uh, or sorry, since the y is being squared, it's going to go again left or right. It's going to go opening along the x-axis, and because the 8 is positive, it's going to be going to the right. <clears throat> All right, our vertex is h comma k, so it's negative 4 and positive 2, so they come out and switch signs. It's going to be positive 4 and negative 2. Plot that point. All right, we take the 8 and we divide it by 4, and it's always 4 that we're dividing by. So our focal distance will be 2. Again, the focal distance is always a positive number. Because it's going to the right, we're going to have 2 to the right gives you 6, comma negative 2. We'll plot that point. Your directrix is going to be 2 to the left of your vertex. It's going to be a vertical line, so it's x equals 2. Plot that point, that line. <clears throat> and then finally, our last two points. Um, so our focal distance is 2. We're going to multiply that number by 2, which gives you 4. So 4 up and 4 down from the focal point gives us our two other points that we can use to graph our equation. Now, a common mistake people make when doing these is that they put those two other points uh, straight across from the vertex, which is incorrect. It's always going to be straight across from the, uh, they're going to be in line with the focal point. All right. And that's where we're going to stop for today. Uh, good luck. I'm trying to graph parabolas.